Hey everybody, it's Queer Yummy, it's Genevieve here. Tony here. We're gonna cook some scallops tonight. I'm gonna show you how to put a really good sear on them. So, we got these scallops at the farmer's market today. Oh, uh, thank you, Tony. Here, let me help. All you right. Get, you get better lighting so you can see how juicy and huge they are. These are some jumbo scallops. At the Durham Farmer's Market, every Saturday morning, you can find salty catch. They come in from the coast every Saturday with the freshest seafood. And so this time we got some scallops. Beautiful. So I've already washed them. You want to wash scallops really well because they have so much sand in them. They come in shells just like clams. They're a mollusk. So you want to make sure you put them under the water for a long time and make sure you get all that sand out because there's nothing worse than a gritty yeah. Gritty yeah. scallop. And even as delicious as these are, like if you bite into a little grit, it can, you know, it ruins it. Your, not ruins it. Oh, for but me, it, it does. Your, <laughs> it changes the experience. I'm dramatic. It it. I'm a dramatic but, about um, my food. You are a little extra. But yeah, look at those. Those look good. Those are very plump. Yeah. They vary in size, um, scallops do. So this week he just was like, I got some big ones for you. And they are indeed larger than, um, we've probably seen this season. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. These are the biggest ones. Okay. So I've already. Oh yeah, and then another tip. So after you wash them, you want to put them on paper towel because you want them to be as dry as possible so when they hit that hot skillet, they can get really nice and sizzled up. So I marinated them with some coarse salt, some parsley, and garlic. Mm -hmm. And that's going to put a good crust on them for us. I know y'all probably thought we were just trying to with this paper towel. <laughs> there is a method to the mat. That's right. You should pat them dry. So back here, I've got a hot skillet. I'm gonna put a little olive oil. Okay, I'm gonna get out of your way though. So yeah. Nice cast iron is good. You could also use um, a non-stick if you want to. Just don't put as much oil so that we can get a nice crust. How's that? Yes. Can y'all see that? Okay, you can. All right. <laughs> Just for good measure, I'm gonna throw up a little bit more seasoning on this. We've got garlic, parsley, and salt. And now, I'm gonna turn the seasoned side down. You hear that? So that tells us that pan was hot enough. So you only like to season one side? Just at a, at a time. Oh, okay, so I'll, then once yeah. you flip it, and mm -hmm. oh, you'll season it right there on the hot pan? Yeah. Interesting. And I'm just gonna put these in two circles. Make that easier to see. Is that good? Yeah. You, there we go. that. you can definitely hear it. Hear that sizzle? How long was that pan on to get it that hot? Um, about 40 seconds. And what type of heat? Um, uh, medium. It was only on for 40 seconds? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was on longer. Then. Yeah. Cool. And then I'm keeping it on medium here. We, we want it to get a good sear, but we don't want to burn it. We don't want to cook it too fast because these can get tough really quickly. And while those are um, searing, I'm gonna show you all some of the stuff we got from the farmer's market today. So some other stuff. Uh, what do you, these aren't muscadine. Which kind those are scuppernuns. Scuppernuns, these are my favorite. I'm gonna taste one. I snuck in a couple earlier. Mm. <laughs> are they good? They're, so They're good. pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. So while while these scallops are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and marinate the top side of them. I'm gonna put that salt, pepper, parsley, and garlic. Oh, you fancy, you call that marinating? I thought that was just seasoning. Seasoning, I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just messing with you. Look, I'm gonna show you all this too. Look at these beautiful pears. I don't even know what type of pear. Did they tell you what type of pear these were? No. I was just um, aesthetically drawn to them so we got like a basket of these too Ooh, and you know what so after these scallops are done we're going to drizzle some honey i got some local honey from the market this morning it's from durham the honey is really nice because it blends in with the saltiness and i think we'll put some cayenne pepper too so that heat and then the sweet from the honey it's going to be a nice combination on the hot scallops but who, who makes this honey Yeah, from Durham Orange and Chef. I know I was gonna tell the name of the, uh, the <laughs> what is it, a bee farm? What do you call it? A bee farm? I don't know. A honey plant? Uh, David, I can't pronounce his last name, that's a shame. But it's David and he's on Chapel Hill Road and he makes the best honey 
uh, we go through these pretty quickly and it's also uh, well priced. His um, prices are definitely competitive considering um, people kind of jack up prices for honey. This is really delicious. Yep. Another tip, I don't know if this is true or not, but if you have allergy issues, you should take a spoonful of honey. It's true, it works. I mean, it seems it works for me, it but works. I don't know if that's like scientific or what. There you go. There we go. And you can still see the scallops. Yes. But anyway, let me see. I'm trying to learn how to let you see stuff with the lighting. Okay, it's not working today. We'll practice that. <laughs> And then a couple of other things, or do you want to talk more about what's yeah, going on? Yeah, I'm just going to take a peek at one of them. See, look at this. We're getting a little color, but it's not where I want it to be. I want it to be a little darker than that. And these are pretty thick. So about two minutes have passed by. I'm going to cook these for another another two minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. It feels like it. No? I don't know. I don't think it's been two minutes, but hmm. hey, time flies when you're having fun. So we'll keep that going, and then wanted to show you all this um, lady in pink uh, cider. It is a dry cider, but it actually has some sweetness because it's um, apricot cider, or it was in an apricot cider yeah. barrel. Yeah, they aged it they in an apricot it. cider barrel. So it has some sweetness, although it is like um, really a, a drier cider. Uh, and this is Botanist and Barrel is the name the folks who make this. They were at the farmer's market too. And we had some samples, it's really good. How are we doing over here? Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Okay, and then you wanna talk about the, the mushrooms? Oh sure. That's your favorite. Yes. Paw River mushrooms. They're at the Durham farmer's market. And they usually have oyster. This is blue oyster. These are so beautiful. I'm gonna take this, this is one cluster. And you see all the layers here? And they're really delicate, but it's got a nice meaty flavor. And I love to just pull these apart, just like that. Lay them flat on the grill, put whatever seasoning marinade you like, tasty. You can't go wrong with these. Yeah, those are cool. I love like the detail in mushrooms. You can't see it, but look, there you go. A little bit, that's better. See how gnarly that is? I don't know why I like that, but I think it looks cool. <laughs> and I don't know how blue these are, but I guess it's kind of like um, when you see canines of this color, they kind of call them blue. I guess it has some hints of blue in it. But yeah. I don't care what color they are, they are <laughs> delicious. I can see a little blue in them. Yeah. Oh my gosh, can you smell these? These I smell can. so good. Wish you all could. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm gonna flip these over now. I'm using some tongs. These are the easiest to use. When you're working with something delicate, you might need a um a mitt because that has yeah. our candle mitts quite hot. Okay, work out. Well, that's how we did it in the restaurant. Nobody had any mess. You had to use a towel. Okay. Mmm, look at that. Nice color. Mm, my mouth is watering. Mmm. Very good. So one thing we'd like to hear from you all out there is like, what are some things that you would like us to cook? We cook a lot of seafood um, and I'm pescatarian, so I am limited in some ways, but not really. I mean, I can eat everything except uh, pork, beef, poultry. Um, and really it's not, I'm not religious about it. So I always tell Genevieve, if I go to a place and it is their custom to make really good, some type of meat, yeah. perhaps I will try it. I don't know. <laughs> or if, um, yeah, if I'm at a restaurant that is known for something, some meat, it, it has to be worth it uh, for me to try, but I think I'd be open to it. But anyway, what are some things that you all would like us to um, cook? Yeah. Drop it down in the comments, send us a DM, and we'll, we'll try it. If we've never tried it before, it'll be fun. We'll do it together. Oh, yeah. How are we looking? Looking pretty good. Good. So with the honey, are you going to drizzle the honey 
on while it's on the hot pan or do you make a sauce separately? Did you mix it up with cayenne? How oh, you know? no, I'm gonna put it on a plate. I figure we'll put some mixed greens on a plate and then put the scallops on top and then I'll just drizzle the honey. Okay. Really lightly, really lightly. We don't want it to be too sweet. It's just to get that little hint of it um, against that cayenne pepper. Cool. I think these are almost done with anything. Yeah, I think so too. All right. All right, so in the meantime, why don't we get our plate ready? Mm -hmm. I'll hold that for you. So you know, it's all about the presentation. You could just stick these on a plate and be done, but why do that? You can use anything. If you got some herbs or some mixed greens like we do. So let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. I like to rewash these. I know it says it's ready to eat, but it can't hurt to put a What about you? What about you what all? Do? I wash them again. Do you wash these? I mean, be honest. Tell the truth. Run through a, a drop it in the comments. Color. Let us know. <laughs> well, to satisfy Tony, I'm gonna rinse these. That's so soft. I'll be right back. <laughs> Just a quick rinse. Yeah. Also, have you all um, heard of the "Do I wash my chicken?" debate? I'd like you all to chime in about that too. To wash or not to wash the chicken. I know people say, well, it doesn't kill um, salmonella or other bacteria, but I don't know if people are washing it because they believe that. I think it's because of that like slimy stuff that comes on chicken. Um, but anyway, what do you all think? Love to know. All right, that's perfect. All right. And dry them out. I'm back. All right, we're good. All right. So we got See? some nice, fresh, fresh washed, twice washed. <laughs> So I'm just gonna lay these, just a couple, just to make it pretty. Some mixed greens. Mm -hmm. There we go. Let me show you. That's it. That. Oh, hold on, let them fall. I'm not gonna let them fall. All right. I'm a pro. There you go. Yeah, these are looking good. Those look good. Those look amazing. All right. Let's go ahead and grab one. Ooh, look at that. Should I bring the plate to you? Will that be Look at that. I want to make sure Ooh. they see that. Look at that sear. Can you see, see that? that's what you want right there. That looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right, here, okay. I'll bring it here. Let's go ahead and plate the rest of these. And with scallops, it's very important that you don't cook them too long because they can get like chewy and gross. And I've had them before, even at you know restaurants, but I've never had gin serve them to me that way. She has really nailed the um, searing of the scallops. Thank you, boo. You're welcome. Now some other stuff. Oh boy. Don't go lying on me. No. But your scallops are something to, to talk about. Awesome. Uh -huh. All right. So, I'm gonna have another break while you're plating that. These are good. You got these. You wanna hold these for me? Oh. All right, mm -hmm. so you remember we got that salt, the parsley, garlic, and cayenne pepper. So you got a nice little spicy and salty crust. And then to top it off, we're gonna drizzle some honey. And this right here, look at this. This is an easy appetizer. You know, you wanna, you have some friends over, you wanna impress them. Mm -hmm. This is super simple, guys. Don't be afraid of, of scallops. And that's it, and there you go. I would show you something, but I'm eating a break. <laughs> there you go. Seared scallops. You wanna try? Oh yeah. Hang on a sec. <laughs> All right. Ready? Yes. Are you, you holding it? Hold sure. it. Mmm. Look at that. It's showing the inside. Uh -oh. Alarms. Alarms. Real life. That, Look I at that. Look at that. Yeah. Can you see it? You got a nice color on both sides. Mm -hmm. Done all the way through, but not overcooked. I want a smaller bite. Give me a second. Mmm. <laughs> Too late. Mmm, so good. How about that? I'm the judge of that. Perfect. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. They're actually perfect. I mean, if you don't like scallops, I don't know what you're missing. The sweet honey and then the salt. Mm -hmm. She seasoned them perfectly, not over seasoned at all. Mm -hmm. And those are some thick scallops. And they're sweet in their own right too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the honey just brings it up a, a bit. Yeah, just like lobster and shrimp have their own flavors, scallop does too. I'll take that with my hands. <laughs> just good, y'all. So there you go. 
Sear scallops. Sear scallops. Queer gummies. Queer gummies. Out. <laughs>